Okay, so it stretches like this where it feels like I'm going downhill. Uh, it's a string of duplexes, and we got trash carts at like all of them. And what I want you to notice is the difference in productivity. I, I know when you watch it from a living room window or from your YouTube screen or wherever you're watching it on, um, oftentimes you'll just see it in the perspective of how it relates to you and your house. But what a garbage company should be doing, um, if they have to operate in a private market, um, where you have to like, kind of take into consideration the efficiency of a route, it's stretches like this where you can knock out a lot of cans, or a lot of, uh, a lot of homes in a short order. And you start to see like the potential of a truck like this, like what it could do if you had like an entire uh, town, like if you're doing a contract town. So these trucks, like the one I'm operating, are designed to do close to probably 12, 13, or maybe even 14. Like I think some people have probably done over 1,500 stops in a day. And that's possible if you were to run all day with uh, stops like this. Densely populated and carts correctly placed. Now you'll see up and down here, uh, looking up and looking back, Cart placement's incredible. Everyone's figured out how to do it correctly. They don't put it by their mailboxes. They're not putting it by cars that are parked on the street. And there's just um, overall, like, a, uh, what's what's the expression when we're kind of all on the same page? But we're all, yeah, we're all kind of grasping um, the simplest stuff. Maybe I'll just do a voiceover for this one. Kind of show like parts getting tipped out fast. What that represents is kind of like the ideal scenario. Now you're not gonna be able to run a whole route like that, at least not in this area. If you had a contract or if it was a city that paid for the service through uh, taxes, it's like city trucks, and city uh, employees, you know, so every house is on the route. You could hit those numbers for 10 hours a day. And then, like, you'd get slowed down a little bit because you'd have to go dump the truck two or even three times because it'd get packed out. So you'd lose a little bit of time having to go unload. But that's that's the kind of metric or example of, like, uh, seeing these truck operate at, like, max potential. And the idea is you don't want these trucks coming to a stop to service trash outside the cart. The customers are going to put trash outside the cart. You just get them another one and charge them accordingly.